Hello, my name is May. I'm a solutions engineer at Workata, and this video will introduce the basics of Workata access control user management. Subsequent videos will go more in depth on topics like adding users at scale, organizing users into groups, and credentials. If you haven't already, we strongly recommend first watching the two access control intro videos so you understand Workata's access control structure and terminologies and have run through process end to end with a single user. Depending on where you're at in your install process, you may or may not have already installed doors. One effective strategy if you haven't installed the doors yet is to get all the users and credentials into command first, which you can start right away. Click on the product menu and navigate to the access control section. Then on the left, click the access users and groups tab. Then search for yourself and click into your profile. If you're a new user, you probably don't have access events populated yet on the first screen. Click over to profile across the top and let's run through the components of a users in Workata Access Control. At the top, you will see your role or roles. Roles are what we use to assign certain people permissions to do certain tasks. This could be as simple as the ability to unlock a door all the way up to an administrator who can manage sites, users, and more. Roles are very helpful when delegating tasks to other members of your team. So we highly suggest checking out the help article linked in the description to learn more about what each role does. Next, you will see the user's start and end date, which controls when that user should start and stop having access. Full-time employees probably won't have these dates, but contractors or temporary employees might. After the end date has passed, a user will be marked as suspended. Next is the user's optional profile photo, as well as the name, email, and several other fields, such as employee ID, department, etc. For larger organizations, these fields can be helpful to identify multiple users with similar names. Note that if you plan to import these users from Cloud Active Directories, then these fields will be controlled through those directories and will not be editable in command. Next is credentials. If you followed our end-to-end -end example video, you probably already have a sample credential set up. Users can have multiple credential types. We will go through more details on this in a subsequent video. If you plan to have users use Workata Pass app as a mobile credential, here is where you will send them the invitation to download and use the app. The Pass app lets access users to use Bluetooth unlock or mobile NFC if you plan to use those as mobile credential options. The last step is to assign the users to the right groups as groups are directly connected to the access levels. Once you add access users, you will be able to see them in the list of users. Finally, click over to the access tab across the top. Here you will see which group you are a member of. You should already be in one group if you followed the example setup video, but you will likely be added to many more as you start to fully set up your organization. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24-7 support team.